Hello Taurus, welcome to another love reading. Thank you so much for being here. We're gonna be looking at the next three months in love. So what you can expect, uh, what you need to know and who you might be dealing with in the next three months, October to December. Uh, as always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Taurus watching. So just take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. Check out your other placements for additional messages. Um, the description box will have links to all the different playlists for each sign so you can see what other messages there are for you. And let's just jump right in for Taurus. Spirits, angels, guides. Messages, please. Guidance for Taurus for the next three months in love. What does Taurus need to know for the next three months? in love what does Taurus need to know what does Taurus need to know what can they expect in the next three months in love what can Taurus expect next three months in love secret admirer you've caught someone's eye what can they expect in love closed off being closed off may blind you to the truth and block new opportunities. So what I'm getting here is like this is, okay, I'm getting two messages. The first one is that someone is secretly admiring you and they have been shut out. And the other message I'm getting is that this secret admirer, you're, you have no idea that they feel this way for you. Um, you may be blind to this this admiration so we'll see what this is about can i get some insight please guidance for taurus what do we need to know for taurus in love for the next three months what insight can we get, Spirit, for Taurus? In love, the next three months. What do we need to know? If I could shuffle, that would be great. For Taurus. Next three months in love. What do we need to know? Okay, so what you can expect, we have the Ten of Wands. And the two of cups reverse okay what you should know the world the lovers reverse interesting and who you might be dealing with six of wands reverse king of swords reverse yikes the overall energy is seven of wands reverse the seven of wands reverse this is a very interesting energy um this is somebody that their guard is down they're no longer fighting back no longer feeling like that courage to stand up for themselves um they've given up kind of so i'm gonna see what that's all about i feel like there has been a separation here already uh with the two of cups reverse and the lovers reverse gemini energy there's been a separation um, or there will be a separation in the next three months. And with the Ten of Wands, it was like it took a while to get to this point. You might be dealing with an Aquarius. If you are, check out that reading. Um, but yeah, it's Ten of Wands, Two of Cups, Reverse tells me that um, what you can expect is some sort of disconnect that's been building up, I feel, with the Ten of Wands. And what you should know is I feel like there's a new cycle here with the world or a, a cycle that needs to end here with the lovers reverse. Now in the who you might be dealing with, I have the six of wands reverse and the king of swords reverse. So I'm picking up, you know, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy here with the king of swords. But I feel like someone was deceptive or didn't communicate and it brought about failure basically with the six of wands reversed so let's see what this is all about 
Tell me more, Spirit. Can I get some insight, guidance for Taurus? Insight, guidance, please. For Taurus. Tell me about this Seven of Wands reverse. Why is the Seven of Wands reverse? Why is the Seven of Wands reverse? The Fool. Someone's being free. Um, I feel like this is someone that's kind of giving up the fight or no longer fighting back or no longer fighting. Like they, they're not interested in fighting anymore. They just want to be free. Is kind of what I'm getting here. Can I get one more, please, for the Seven of Wands reverse? Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Somebody wants to be free, independent, no longer deal with this. This could be you or your person. Someone no longer wants to have to be fighting so much or having to deal with challenges and obstacles all the time and conflict all the time. Okay, so what can you expect in love? Ten of Wands, Two of Cups reverse. Why is the Ten of Wands here with the Two of Cups reverse? Why is the Ten of Wands here with the Two of Cups reverse? Why is the Ten of Wands here with the Two of Cups reverse? Six of Cups. Why is the Ten of Wands here with the Two of Cups reverse? The Hangman. Why is the Ten of Wands here with the Two of Cups reverse? Someone's seeing the past differently. Yeah, Ten of Wands. Someone's seeing the past differently. They're, they're realizing that this there was a burden here, difficulty. Maybe someone tried all they could and no longer wants to carry this burden. Again, this could be you or your person. I feel like over time, someone is seeing the situation in a different lens or a different light. Can I get some insight into this Ten of Wands? Why is the Ten of Wands here? Why is the Ten of Wands here? Justice. Yeah, it's almost like someone's realizing maybe this wasn't very fair. Maybe they were doing all on their everything on their own. Um, things haven't been balanced, right? Justice, Five of Pentacles, the Libra energy. Something hasn't been fair. Okay, so in the what you need to know, what's this world doing here with the lovers reversed? Why is the love, um, the, sorry, why is the world, not the love, why is the world here with the lovers reversed? Why is the world here with the lovers reversed? Four of Wands. Why is the world here with the lovers reversed? Six of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. So the Six of Swords is a card about a departure. Nine of Cups at the bottom here. Strength, Leo energy. It's like someone is uh, making a move into a new cycle. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Six of Swords is leaving difficulty behind and moving on, moving forward. This has been a common theme for Taurus. Tell me about the Six of Swords. This could be somebody leaving home. Tell me about the Six. Yeah, this is someone going after a new opportunity here. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? King of Pentacles. Um, death at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio energy, King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, this could be a marriage, Four of Wands. I feel like some of you, either you're leaving a connection or your person's leaving a connection or your person's leaving this connection. But there's definitely going to be a shift here in the next three months in love. There's going to be some sort of ending or change with the death card. And right after that, I have the Five of Wands. So maybe the conflict will end, the fighting will end.
I feel like someone just wants to be free, independent, do it on their own, try to see how they do on their own. Okay, tell me about the Six of Wands reverse and the King of Swords reverse. Tell me about the Six of Wands reverse and the King of Swords reverse. Why is the Six of Wands reverse with the King of Swords reverse? Three of Wands. So this is your person here, person you might be dealing with. Tell me about the Six of Wands reverse and the King of Swords reverse. Let's see what their whole shtick is. Okay, High Priestess. So now you're definitely dealing with an Aquarius. Tell me about the Six of Wands reverse and the King of Swords reverse. Why is the Six of Wands reverse and the King of Swords reverse? Eight of Swords. Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Well, whoever this is, I feel like they have been waiting for you secretly or secretly watch you, but they don't do anything about it with the Eight of Swords. Um, oh, you can't really see. Hopefully you can see there. They're not really, um, they're not communicating, they're not doing anything. Eight of Swords and the High Priestess. It's like they're waiting. And since they're waiting and not doing anything about it or feeling stuck or fearful, then nothing, there's no success. Six of Wands reverse. There's no recognition either. What are they waiting for? Tell me about the Three of Wands. What are they waiting for with the Three of Wands, Spirit? What are they waiting for? The Star Aquarius Energy. They're waiting and hoping, waiting for healing. The Wheel of Fortune, yeah. This person's hoping for like a lucky break. Maybe for things to shift, turn around, for good news. Hoping for something. So why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Queen of Wands. So it's like they want to take action, but they're not. Tell me about the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? Why is the High Priestess here? Page of Pentacles. Strength Leo energy at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, this is interesting because I feel like some of you are dealing, you know, I feel like I'm talking to different types of, different groups of Taurus. Um, for group one, this person is the person that you are leaving and they're hoping for healing they're hoping that they can fix this or maybe this is someone you left in the past and maybe you both went your separate ways and now they're hoping for another chance but I feel like most of you, this is someone who they, they're they secretly watching you, admiring you, hoping for a chance with you. Um, but you're like in another, you're, you're making a big transition in your life. I feel like a lot of you are leaving a, a commitment. Some of you could just be moving, like moving locations or making some sort of moves that take you to somewhere new. Um, and I feel like you've caught someone's eye and now they're over here hoping for success with you but they're not communicating i feel like they're too scared to tell you how they feel you know maybe you're closed off maybe you're not easy to approach because you have a lot going on um maybe you're not thinking about love at this time this could be like a friend waiting in the wings or someone at work or someone you interact with but you haven't officially been with that's really the main energy i'm picking up but I feel like, Taurus, for you, the next three months are about being free and independent and doing your own thing 
and making th these big moves that you've been planning. And I feel like while you've been, you know, finding this independence, you catch someone else's eye or you have admirers around you that you're not aware of. So there could very well be somebody that, you know, is thinking about asking you out with the Page of Pentacles. They just haven't gotten there yet. They're hoping that this works out, but I don't see them making a move just yet. Even though that's all they think about. I feel like this is someone that's always thinking about you being attracted to you, taking action towards you, being bold with um, the Queen of Wands here. But you're busy. You have a lot going on. You're focused on balance and making things right for yourself and you're maybe having realizations about the past or realizations about a connection um something like that can you give me uh one more please for justice can I get one more, please? One more clarifier for justice. Why is justice here? The tower and the knight of cups. So I feel like some of you, there will be a tower that you're dealing with in the next three months. A tower might be happening that will set things right or make things right. I feel like this, this tower is bringing new love to a lot of you. Or an offer that's just very emotionally fulfilling. Because I have the Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. So this could be an offer that you're going after. Or an offer that comes in that causes a tower or something like that. But I feel like for a lot of you, there's a tower on its way. Um, that will help you be free, basically. And if this doesn't resonate for you, Taurus, then feel free to flip the energies. This could be your person's energy solely. Maybe they're the ones becoming free. But this is what I'm seeing. Can I get one more for the star? Why is this star here? What's this star about? Why is this star here? King of Wands. Yeah, this is somebody that is hoping for an opportunity with you. That's really what it boils down to. They're hoping for an opportunity with you. Hoping for a chance with you. So I'm going to take this to the extended now. We're going to be looking closer at this person in particular. What do we need to know about them? What are their energies? Um, and then we'll also look at what you need to know about the situation as a whole. Any hidden factors, challenges, blocks. What do you need to know about the situation? Um, so if you want to know more and get more insight, then check out the extended. It'll be linked in the description box. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Taurus. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the reading, hit that like button, subscribe so you can see more readings from me and um, I'd love to have you. Thank you so much for all of your support and your kind comments and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.